Hello everybody, and welcome back to what is hopefully going to be the last episode of Dark Souls. Last time, we uh, beat Manus, and we accessed Calamite, and tried to fight him a couple times, but failed. And uh, all that's standing in our way of the final area is Calamite, so... Depending on how well I do against Calamite, we'll see if this is the last episode. We're just going to go ahead and get started. Uh, hopefully I can beat him. I had him down to half health last time, so I have a good feeling. Too bad there's nobody you can summon for this fight. At least not that I've found. There very well... Uh, words. There very well could be, and I just missed where they were at, but... I looked along this area and didn't see anybody. So let's just see how we do. Ugh, I hate that. Bad dog. Alright. Let's see, do I have any... Boost fire defense, that might be useful. Give this a try. If I take off Havel's ring, can I still? No, unfortunately. Ah, eh, that's okay. Let's put the fire resistance ring on and see if that helps us at all. I'm not sure if it will. Guess we'll see. Throwing a decent shield on probably wouldn't hurt either. But I'm going to be stubborn and not do that. Alright, Calamite. Let's try this again. Oh, wow. I thought I was far enough to the side to avoid that. Oh shit. Don't hit me, don't hit me. Alright, whew. That could have been bad. There we go. Aw, oh, damn it. I was not expecting him to do a rush there. Damn, that was actually going well. For the most part. I tried to go heal, and I shouldn't have... I should have baited an attack and then healed. Oh, well. We will try, try again. kind of crazy that this is finally finally coming to a close it's nine years in the making it's uh it's exciting but also it's also sad i love dark souls so it's always sad to finish it up but if yeah, i'm excited to start something new and uh bring another game to you guys to enjoy. Luckily I've already decided what I'm going to do, so once I'm done with Dark Souls, uh, the new playthrough will be up pretty soon after Dark Souls is over. I'm excited. It's another game I haven't played in quite a while, so it's going to be more of a fun uh, revisiting playthrough as opposed to a informative walkthrough, but I think it'll be fun nonetheless. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. Alright. Round two, buddy. Let's see if we can do a little bit better this time. 
Oh, hello. Okay. Starting off. Naturally, you can cut Calamine's tail, but it is not the easiest thing to do by any means. So I would not, I don't know, I don't even know what you get from it, but I'm definitely not going to try to do it. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Get it, Calamine. That went really, really, really well. I'm very impressed at how well that went. Damn. Alright. Hell yeah. Calamine is down. So easiest thing. Easiest method to beat Calamine. Uh, that's like, I think, the second time I've ever beat him. Um, stay under him. That's the easiest thing to do. Stay under him, run from the fire. Um, staying to uh, his. rolling to our left, which would be his right, seems to be the easiest way to keep him from hitting you. I notice most of his attacks come from his uh, come from his right, so rolling to uh, our left is the best course of action there. Uh, some great arrows. Well, this will definitely be the last episode because uh, all we have left is the final area and the final boss. So. Let's head back to the bonfire, and uh, let's finish this game up. I'm, honestly, I'm kind of sad. I'm happy that Calamine went down so easily, but I'm also sad. kind of not ready for this game to end. I could go back and do New Game Plus, but I normally don't do that kind of thing. I tend to usually only play games. Well, except for like Dark Souls, I tend to only play games like once and then I'm done with them. I don't normally play New Game Plus. I know New Game Plus on Dark Souls adds some different stuff, but uh... Um... We could go see what uh... these souls give. I actually don't remember. Cause... I don't think it's gonna take me too terribly long to beat the final boss, but... We might head to An Orlando before we hit up the final area and uh, see what those give, because I'm not actually sure. But first, let's level up. Uh, Dex is at 45, and so 
see we're only getting about one point per level now in terms of our uh, damage so we're not going to be doing that 45 we're going to cap it there um let's go ahead and pop a couple into endurance and yeah just real quick because i'm curious and i haven't seen what they give let's see what's the easiest way to get to him I gotta think here. Dark Moon 2, maybe? Yeah, I think Dark Moon 2 will be the quickest way to uh, the giant blacksmith. So we'll check the check what Manus and the uh, Sanctuary Guardian give for weapons before we head to the final area. The final area is not very long. Um, final boss himself can be either incredibly difficult or incredibly easy. I'm gonna try to show both ways to beat him. Um, I've beaten him my way a bazillion times and then I've beaten him uh, well, I've beaten him with parries every time I played this game except for once when I was doing a strength build with a great shield and could not parry so I had to turtle him which actually proved to be much more fun um, parrying him is a ton of fun I will say but I'm gonna try to show both ways um, obviously I will have to die on one of them to show the other one but I guess we'll see See if we can get over here really easily without. Yeah. Leaf, maybe. Oh, hello. Soul of Manus can make the Sorcerer's Catalyst. Uh, a shield with the Soul of Sif will get you a great shield of Artorius. And interestingly enough, it does not seem like you can do anything with the Guardian Soul, which is honestly sad. Okay. those souls because I have no need for them. See if I can level up one more time. Uh, there we are. Yep. I don't think it's only 12,000 souls. It doesn't even give me that much. Mus much. I cannot talk today. So Manus. I'm going to say 40,000. Oh, 18,000? That's it? Oh, man. I don't even think that's a level up. Is that even a level? No, it's not even a level. And I don't think I have any other souls. Ah, well, that's depressing. Oh well. Alright, so. Once you have all of the Lord, uh, Lord Vessels, Lord Stones, Lord Souls, that's it. Once you have all the Lord Souls, go back to Firelink Shrine, if you're following the way I did it. There's an alternate way to do this. Um, if you went with the snake that was in, uh, the Four Kings Abyss, but that's if you want, like, a darker ending, so go with this one. Hey! Uh, 
no, I got... no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Well and wide awake. I meant to kick him, but don't treat me like an old withering snake. Don't fall asleep then, if you don't want to be an old withering snake, sir. I am pleased to see you well. Is it something urgent? Very well. Then you can feed him um, shards and to be completely honest, I don't remember if you get souls from that or if you get other shards. Um, we've already seen that, so let me see if he'll let me feed him. Very well. As King Seeker, I shall now instruct you, the Lord's successor, in your next task. To achieve your fate, fill the vessel with powerful souls commensurate to the great soul of Gwyn. Scarce few possess such brilliant souls. Grave Lord Nito, the Witch of Isolith, the Four Kings of New Londo, who inherited the shards of Gwyn's soul, and Lord Gwyn's former confidant, Seath the Scaleless. All of their souls are required to satiate the Lord Vessel. Are you ready? Then we shall return. Stay still for a moment. Okay, so that was just the explanation for what you needed to do in order to fill the Lord Vessel. Um, I thought he would let am, me is do other things. But let me... I think I have a blue titanite chunk, so let's see what this does. Okay, so if you feed him larger... Uh, if you feed him chunks, they become shards. And I bet if you feed him a large Titanite shard, it becomes small Titanite shards. Very well. You can and feed him items for souls. I do remember that much. Um, I You don't really get that many, though, so it's not really that worth it, in my opinion. But... Now we come up to the Lord Vessel and offer souls. Access. Let's go ahead and rest. And if you notice, this bonfire, it has all the Lord vessels. You get 20 Estus from this place. So if you need to, if you want to do any soul grinding at all, notice in the background. This is a very eerie and really, really cool area. I really like this uh, final area. Kiln of the First Flame fantastic place to soul grind because of the enemies that are here knights um, one thing I did not look at I need to go repair my weapon right quick before we get too far into this so let me do that and then we'll go um, the only enemies in this area are um, black knights they are, for the most part, easy to parry. So if you need to do some last in-game soul grinding, this is the place to do it. it. Wasn't that low, but I don't want to. want to make sure it's, you know, good to go in this final area. All right, now, now let's head in. We've got our 20 Estus. We're good to go. Like I was saying, I love the design of this area. I think it's really cool. I love the enemies around here. I love the just kind of I don't know, gloomy feel of this area. It just feels very foreboding. It definitely feels like a final area. And I love that. It's not the hardest area by any means. It's fairly simplistic. But yeah, just backstab them, parry them 
whatever you feel like you gotta do to beat these guys. They're fairly easy, so. And upon beating them, you get 2,000 souls per. And you get, you can farm Titanite chunks and their weapons and armor here. So if you if you need Titanite chunks to upgrade anything, this is the place to do it. You get 2,000 souls per knight. There are five knights, I believe. There's five or six knights in this area. So every run will get you 10 to 12,000 souls. That was really dumb. Come on, let's bait and attack. Yeah, every, every run will get you a, a fair amount of souls. So it won't take super long to level. Let's see. Here we go, Black Knight Greatsword and Red Titanite Knight Chunk. And yeah, it doesn't seem like they would respawn, but they these ones most definitely do. So there's two there, and then we're gonna follow this pathway here. And then you're going to want to go this way, hang to the right, or you're going to fall. This way. Careful of this Black Knight here. That's the way we need to go. There's an item coming up, though. Um, I would try to parry him, but I'm a little iffy on if I would be able to right now. I guess I should practice, though. Black Knight Sword and Titanite Chunk over here, I think, is just some more souls, but we're going to get it regardless. Ah, no, that's the Black Knight set. Really, really good set. High fire resistance, if I recall. Let's have a look. E yeah, high fire resist. Helm of the Black Knights who, who haunt Lordran. The Knights followed Lord Gwyn when he departed to link the fire, but they were burned to ashes in the newly kindled flame, wandering the world as disembodied spirits ever after. Really sad, to be completely honest. It definitely makes me sad. There's a lot of just sad motifs in this game. Alright, so follow this pathway up, and then there should be... There's going to be another one down there. This looks like it should have been something, but it's not. So I'm wondering if... I don't know. I don't know if it's just decor or if it was something that had been planned to lead somewhere. There is a halberd knight here. Or an axe, I apologize. This one's an axe. The other one, I think, is a halberd. If I can parry him. Oh. I cannot. <laughs> I goofed. That's okay. Okay, so there are there are five knights, so you'll get ten thousand souls per run of this area. What you got? You got a halberd? Yeah. Backstab you. And once more. us to the final fog door. Alright, I used to be able to parry him when he would jump, so we're gonna try it. Ah! Uh, Alright, so Gwyn himself is fast, as you can see. There's, you can fight him normally. Yeah. He's fast, and I started off badly on that one. If you don't fight him through parries, he's one of the tougher bosses because of how fast he is. So, um, used to, back when I played this a lot, when he does that jump attack, I used to be able to parry him right, right off the gate and then just consecutively parry him. So we'll see, we'll see what we can do. This might take me actually a little longer than I expected just because it's been... As I've said throughout this whole thing, nine years since I've played this game and fought Gwyn, so I'm a little rusty. But that's okay. We can go ahead and fight the knights again, or you can just run it. You don't necessarily need to fight them. Um, I'm 
might do it just to practice my parries just a little bit before we get in there. Oh. Or not. Come here. Well, that's dumb. There went 41,000 souls down the drain. That's okay. I don't need them anymore. As you can see, I'm rusty on my parries. It's been a minute. I've kind of foregone parrying in this playthrough because I just, I've been very out of practice. Let's try that again. Just pr uh, practice a couple parries on him, and then we'll make our way back to Gwyn and uh, fight him. I would recommend you having a shield that has high uh, physical and fire resist. Damn it. But yeah, I would recommend you have a shield that has better resistances than mine does. I, I mainly just keep mine for the stamina increase, but even on parries, I think even on parries you can get through your shield, I'm not sure. I, I might be spouting some bullshit there. I'm gonna just run past. These guys are a little harder to parry. Oh. Yeah, I missed that one. By a lot. Let's just go for a backstab on you so I can heal. Much better. Alright. drop. Yeah, most of the time these guys just, they drop stuff. Um, I'm not actually sure if I remember a time that they didn't drop anything. I think they're set to drop their specific uh, weapons the first time you fight them. And then... Yeah, I would not recommend fighting him over there. I'd recommend pulling him over here and then fighting him. Oh! I tried to parry a shield. Yeah, definitely pull him over here and fight him, because fighting him over there... Is just a death wish in the making. But yeah, I do believe these guys always drop stuff. I think they're always programmed to drop stuff. So that's why I said it's a great place to grind. Especially if you plan to go into New Game Plus, you'll want to do some prep and make sure your weapons and armor are prepped accordingly and you have everything upgraded that you want so you can just simply focus on playing the game. Big jump. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna forego him and see if I can just get through the fog. Alright, let's try this again. He's gonna jump, like, right off the bat. So I'm gonna try to parry him again. Damn it. Wow. Maybe parry, Maybe trying to parry him on that jump is... I need to parry earlier. I'm parrying too late. Trying to do that is probably fucking me over, because I'm not... I get hit and then just get stuck in a corner and panic. Alright, let's see if we can just run, him, run over there this time. I'm gonna beat Gwen. We're gonna beat him this, this episode. I don't care how long it takes me. I was going to try to show both ways, but no, I'm not going to lie, I might just see if I can parry him to death. Because Gwitty Boy is giving me a little bit of a hard time now. It's been too long.
Yeah, I would rather not fight these guys every time I make this run, because it's annoying. Oh, he got my ankles. Uh-oh. This might have been a bad idea. Let me heal. Run. Okay. One of them ran away from me. Maybe this one will too. Is he still following me? Okay, good. He backed off. Now let's take care of this guy. Did not parry him, but that is okay. Let me heal real quick. And then run. He apparently does not follow, interestingly enough. Now we're gonna try parrying him when he jumps one more time. If I can't get it, then we'll we'll stop doing that. I used to be able to do it and I really want to pull it off. I think I'm parrying too late though, is the problem. Skip forward just a smidge. Oh man, he did a different one that time. Damn man! He is uh he's not fucking around, is he? I don't think I've laid a single hit on him in the what, twenty minutes we've been trying to fight him? I don't even think it's been twenty minutes, but Oh boy. This might prove to be a little more difficult than I was anticipating. I usually don't have near this many issues with Gwen. Alright, once again we're just gonna run this. Hopefully this guy doesn't chop at my ankles again. Yeah, I might have to just forego the, the opening parry and just see if I can dodge him. So I can at least survive and get my wits about me. Um, if you are going to fight him legitimately, you need a great shield is honestly the best way to go. Um, you can tank his hits for the most part. Um, with a great shield, so you don't necessarily need to roll if you want to go that route. Um, if you prefer to do dodgy route, you can, most definitely, but the only time I've ever beat him without parry was uh, a strength build with a great shield. That's the only time. So, um, if you're going to fight him with a shield normally without a great shield, you'll want one with high physical and high high physical, high fire resist, and high poise to avoid getting staggered like I do. Because I'm not built to guard against him. I'm built to roll or to parry. So we're going to try this opening parry once more. Motherfucker. I'm a panic roll. You're a bitch. You're a bitch, man. Aw, oh, fuck off, Gwen. If I can't jump attack like that, you can't either, sir. I don't appreciate that. Oh, boy. I can do this. I'm just too, I'm, I'm being too cocky. Let me see here. Um, stability, not, <laughs> not poise, stability is what you need. This one's actually not bad on fire resist, surprisingly. Um, let's see what we have here. Yeah, that's a great shield. Havel's great shield. Yeah, you definitely could turtle him if you wanted to. Cleansing Great Shield. That's really good. What other shields do we have? Here we go. Okay. 
Uh, decent fire resistance. Lower stability, but... Crystal Knight Shield is okay. Uh, I Just because I've upgraded this one so much, it's got higher than pretty much everything I have. So, I just need to get my parry game on. I'll probably try to stop parrying his opening jump. It's just very satisfying to do so, and I really wanted to catch that on camera. But I don't think I'm going to be able to. Ah! Normally, if you parry him once, he gets caught in a loop of doing the same attack over and over. And so, it makes the fight trivial. It's just getting that initial parry off. Especially if you can get that opening parry off, he'll he'll drop, he'll get up, and then he'll do just like a basic slash, his basic slash attack, which is very easy to parry. And then it takes just a few parries and he's gone. Um, I'm unfortunately unable to get that right now, so it's making the fight a little bit more difficult than it needs to be. Plus, I'm not necessarily built to take his hits. If I die again, I might try just strength and just uh, not doing any rolls and just seeing if I can uh, turtle him with heavy armor and parry. Parry off though. Come on. A little too early. Yeah, he's just too fast. He's too fast if you just don't dodge in that opening. He's gonna. He gets you. I've almost got the parry down, but. I probably should have practiced this a little bit before heading into this little final area. Y'all see me go through worse on boss fights, Capra Demon. So I just have not laid a hit on him yet, which is frustrating. But honestly, I'm I'm the one that's making the mistake. Um, let's see. What is my fire resistance right now? 291. If I were to Black Knight Helm actually has lower fire resistance, interestingly enough. Um, Havels is, honest to god, one of the better sets if you want to try to tank him. Um, mainly because I'm curious. Oh yeah, fat roll. sat there and took two hits for no fucking reason. I thought about just trying to uh, tank him with Havel set here, but I don't really know if I want to do that. That's gonna... I wouldn't be knocked back by hits, so it might be useful if I want to just sit there and try to parry him. What? I can fast roll with Havel's boots on? That's impressive. Huh. That's actually very impressive. Can I do it with anything else? Probably not. Wait, what? Okay, there we go. It just lagged on. It delayed on the update for... Looks like I can fast roll with his boots and his gloves on. That's pretty impressive. And we'll throw Happel's boots on. Not that it's really going to help us much, but we'll see what we can do. Okay. 
Come on. It's taking way too long. Hey, way, way too long. Uh, I was really hoping he was just going to jump down that hole. Oh, he did jump down the hole. Nice. All right. I've almost got the parry down, but we're we're gonna avoid that. There's the parry. See, you do a fuck ton of damage to him if you parry him. Go. That is a grab that you do not want to be on the receiving end of. Ah, oh, fuck me. Well, I had a good little run. Um, I got kind of stuck. That's all right. At least I know I can actually lay a hit on him if I don't try to go for that opening parry. If you can get him to use the same attack, he's... I'm not actually showing a really good job of that, but... Oh, wow, I just completely rolled off. Sorry, I have a problem with my controller stuck in. There we go. Whoops. Oh well. His basic slashes are, for the most part, fairly easy to parry. I'm not showing a very good job of that at all, but... Oh well. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying, it's not going very well. We still got a little bit of time left, so we'll beat him. We'll beat him. This will be the finale, even if it runs a little longer. Oh, he... Fuck you, man. Got me. Did not expect him to get me from there. Leave me be. Leave me alone. No! Oh, God. God. Oh, sh shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He's on my ass. Okay. Whew. That was close. I don't really think Havel's boots are helping me in any way, but it's a nice little change of pace from what we've been wearing the entire game. Come on. There we go. Luckily it's a short run for the most part, but it's still kind of an annoying run. Especially when you're a little frustrated. I'm definitely a, a smidge frustrated right now because, like, I know, I know I can do better against Gwen. I'm just not, and that's that sucks. All right, heal, roll. Leave me alone. All right, again, we are not gonna try to go for an opening parry here. Oh, what? He hit me? Alright. Fine. Two can play at that game. There we go. If he does that, like, wide swing attack, he is pretty easy to parry. It's when he starts doing other attacks like that, that, uh... Don't want to get hit by that. Oops. Fuck me. I panicked. Damn, man. All right. 
I got panicky, and then as you can see, it just fucked everything up. I wasn't doing really well. Oh, man. I think I'll get him this time. I have a good feeling about this time. Just need to... Focus. I have a good feeling about this time. I just need to not panic and just be patient. Don't panic. Be patient. I would have beat him that time if I wouldn't have. If I wouldn't have choked. But as you saw, parries and repose do a shit ton of damage to him. My normal attack did like 200. Oh, what the f <sighs> And sometimes that happens, where they, uh... Their AI decides that they're gonna do something different than they've done the last, you know, seven runs you've done. <sighs> that was dumb. It's normally, uh... Normally he does not just run at you and slice you. The last, what, seven times I've gone after him, he's done the exact same thing. And the one in the back has never followed me. So, I love a little shake up there. So now, I'm irritated, and now I'm going to kill him. How the... Okay. That fucking hit. Ugh. That hit was stupid. He slashed in front of him and somehow hit me. I don't. I don't know, man. That was dumb. One thing I did forget to mention: this is a pretty big PVP area, to be completely honest. Because it's so open, that a lot of people, a lot of people do PVP here. Um, and. Which makes it kind of impossible to summon anybody from Gwen. I know you can. And, I mean, there are summon signs around Gwen, I'm sure. But, with all the PvP... Excuse me. Without, uh, with all the PvP, it's would make it a little bit hard uh, to do that. I'm not sure how big the PvP scene is on the game now. It's been out forever. Um... I mean, throughout this playthrough, I did get invaded once, but I'm not, like I said, I'm not entirely sure if it's still a really big PvP scene or not. It wouldn't surprise me if it was. I mean, the game still looks and plays beautifully. Black Knight Shield is actually a pretty nice shield. Um... Oh, I already have it. High fire resistance. Oh. Interesting. Oh. I don't have the... Wait, what? Do I really not? Oh, I have to have 16 strength to even freaking hold that damn thing. Alright, anyway. That would have been a pretty good shield to have. If you have 16 strength and want a better shield, and don't already have one from the beginning of the game, Black Knight Shield. It'll make Gwyn a lot easier. I'm not going to take the time to farm enough souls to get my strength up, however fucking many levels that would be. That was almost really bad. I might have had to step away if I had freaking rolled into that hole. Oh boy. Alright. Here we go again. Come on, Gwynny boy. Oh, 
Oh boy, that was almost bad. Panicked again, but yeah, please. There we go. Let's see if I can get him. When he starts hopping around, is when it. miss a parry, it really fucks you up. There we go. And that is how you beat Gwen by parry. As you can see, once you get him stuck in that loop, he is very, very easy to take down. I was just having a lot of difficulty. And now, you have two options. You can walk out that door, or you can light the fire. I usually go for the light the fire. I just like it more. That was Dark Souls. It was... Man, honestly, it was great to come back. To come back and replay Dark Souls after so long. Um, I definitely had my issues going through it, but... It was, overall, it was a fun playthrough. And I had a great time finally getting to show y'all one of my favorite games and finishing this playthrough that has been in the works for so, so, so long. Uh, it, was, it was nice to get back into the swing of things. And I really hope y'all enjoyed it through all of the uh, all of the technical difficulties and all the uh, really bad gameplay that was had. I still definitely hope y'all enjoyed it. And, um, yeah, I'm gonna leave y'all with the credits. Until next time. Bye.